dark night of the soul comes just before revelation. Yep. When everything is lost and all seems darkness, yep. then comes the new life and all that is needed. Yeah. But at the moment, most of the adventure still lies ahead for Steve Camden, the guy in the book. Mm -hmm. Like Beowulf and Bella, he will find that reclaiming his soul requires uncommon courage and persistence. Yeah. Yeah, it's a good book. Hey, who? <laughs> Let's get rocking and rolling. Mobility, grasshopper flow. <clears throat> Take your time with it. Okay, start in the high plank position here. Grasshopper will be one leg up. You don't have to pull that leg through just, 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 just. Listen to me. Just yet. You can just kind of use that as a stretch first. Get those hips loosened up. Kind of move around, pop your chest up, press them to the floor, press your knee out, open the hips. And then on your second or third, if you're feeling up for it, press into that bottom hand and then lift that hip through to the front. Then pull all the way back to that high plank position. And then rinse and repeat on the other side. Bottom hand, nice and tight. Pressing into the floor, activating your shoulders and lats. And then getting that stretch, coming right back to center. Just do nine each side. This one, try to keep your hips close to here. Yeah. But if yeah. you're tight, if you're tight in the hips and shoulders, it's gonna be difficult. So think about pressing, really creating space. What you wanna do is create space okay. to get that leg through. Yeah. So okay. press that bottom hand in, and then pulling from the hip flexor at the same time, lifting up yeah. and then pulling through. I know that's, it, sounds, it, so easy. it sounds easy, right? But if you're tight, yeah. it's, yeah, it's yeah. a challenge for me to work through it. But if you're tight in the shoulders and chest, it's gonna be even yeah. more difficult. <laughs> It's definitely a great concept if you were to combine those two, hypertrophy and acon, A squared, and this is what uh, is a unique, very, very unique concept and very, I think, effective. Here's how it's going down. Those of you who have not been here this week, everybody has, I think. It's a pretty cool concept. We're doing beats per minute. So every time you hear a beep, you're going to be doing a rep. Now. Our mobility, our warm-up slash mobility is going to be the Turkish get-up, and we're going to break it down into six, six exercises on the way up, and then six exercises on the way down. It's going to be a 12 beat per minute concept, okay, or setup. So Turkish get-up, this is your start position. Same side, same side. Right hand up, right knee up. That's your first stop. This is not part of the exercise. This is just the start point. First beat, elbow. Now you're doing 12 beats per minute. So you're gonna be holding each position in about, I don't know, five seconds, right? If you were to do some math simply, I think that's right, maybe not, I don't know. This is your first stop. Here in the, the, the first part of the movement, really pressing that bottom hand into the floor, waiting for that next beat. Second beat is that hand goes back. Now you're still stacking, shoulder, uh, sorry, wrist, elbow, shoulder, and I'm, my hip is directly under that shoulder, right? Next stop. Oh, big bridge. This is going to be probably the most challenging for you because now you're in an extended position, that stacked position, right? Wrist, elbow, shoulder, shoulder, elbow, wrist, all the way down, keeping that shoulder nice and strong. Feel the wobble. I see it. I also feel it. Now, this is the next stop, pulling that leg through, creating two right angles, right? My front angle, my front hip is basically in a right angle, and my back, perpendicular, is also in a right angle. Next stop is pushing off the ground rotating that shoulder and squaring your hip up. Positioning your body, waiting for that last beat, which is gonna be the stand-up. That's your six. Wait for the beat, rinse and repeat on the reverse, reverse lunge. Okay, number seven. Number eight, waiting for it, hand goes to the side. Boom, stack position again. Here, wait for that next beat, pull that leg through, big bridge, engage your glutes, shoulder still engaged, Think about that forearm being engaged. Boom, next stop, hip, holding here. Boom, boom, boom. Next beep, elbow, and then last beep, all the way down. Boom, rinse and repeat. I'll give you about 30 seconds each side. 
to get that kettlebell over safely to the other, other side. And then we're gonna roll back up and wait for that next beat. Make sense? So it's a great exercise for mobility, stability, core strength, hip strength, all of it. So that's how it's going down. We're gonna probably do two to three rounds each side. I'm thinking three, leaning toward three each. Just one rep though. So 60 on the way up, 30 seconds rest, and then 60 um, on the other side on the way up. Pick your weights wisely. Right, that was horrible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Still, like, it wasn't that hot. Okay. I'll get it. All right, so we're doing, here's what we're doing. Beats per minute, you guys know the deal. 18 beats per minute is the first one. And if you have a pull-up bar, we're doing jumping pull-ups. If you do not have a pull-up bar, you can do 18 beats per minute on the Kettlebell American Swing. Back down. Hips. Back down. Okay, so you're swinging, pulling, punching. Almost like you're bound to overhead, but it's called the Kettlebell American Swing. 24 beats per minute. Next up, butterfly sit up. Every beep. Here. Up. Up. Okay, if you can't keep up with that beat per minute, it's totally fine. Chill out. Give yourself a second. Skip a rep and then jump to the next one. You can auto regulate this by just taking a rep off, taking a second off. The goal is to work for the minute. So you're doing a minute worth of work. So you're engaged in an exercise for a minute. You don't have to keep up with the, the beats if you cannot. The goal is to keep your heart rate elevated and sustained, not erratic up and down. Okay, next up, pulse squats. 60 beats per minute. So it's down in that low squat position, halfway up, down, down. So you're literally never coming out of this squat position. You're not coming all the way up, you don't have time. It's quick. <laughs> Pressing through the center of your foot, making sure you feel the ground underneath you. That's for 60 beats per minute. 120 beats per minute is going to be a mountain climb, but also cross body. So think about opposite knee to elbow, or knee to hand, opposite. Nice pace, it's not super fast, but it will catch up with you because it's a minute long. So try to sustain it. If you cannot continue or you don't have it in you to push this, just hold that high plank. Rest, catch your breath, and then go for it again. Okay, the idea is to challenge yourself for 60 seconds. Finish your time, clean and press. Little finisher, 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest, increasing work, increasing time. Here, clean. Dumbbells to your shoulders. Press all the way up. So think about using your shoulders and your hips same time. Pull and then press. Cool. Let's go.